Hey everybody, Brandon with Bearded CB82. So as I promised, update video on what's going on with uh, the Veterans Empowerment Center. These guys. Now everything that uh, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to leave links to in the description box down below. Now uh, this is an extremely important video. A uh, number of things. Uh, some of the stuff's got me really fired up, as uh, Coda Boy 32 would say, and uh, for just reasons, like it's got me livid. Now, first off, I want to give thanks to everybody that um, I gave a shout out to help to, and you guys helped. Uh, YouTube was awesome about this. A couple of people on Facebook, awesome about it as well. And, um, you know, one person in particular I kind of want to say thanks to is Quentin. Uh, Quentin is, uh, well, he lives in eastern Iowa, but he's the state POC for the uh, Three Percenters Patriot Coalition here in Iowa. Um, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel down below. It's just kind of a small channel for him to have fun with, keep track of things for his own thing. He's very big into the two-way rights here in Iowa. Uh, for you that want to know kind of what he's about, but he was one of the first people to really hop on this uh, when I shared it on Facebook, and uh, thank you very much for doing that. He works late shift too, so for him to take some of his time to call up the uh, uh, Jake Knapp, the director of fundraising, it's on the top of the card there, figure out, you know, what their current situation was and everything else, so um Thank you, Quentin, very much. I do appreciate that. Now, uh, one thing that did kind of uh, piss me off. Um, now, remember, like I said, there's going to be links in the description box below. But uh, bear with me. We'll get to the big story here in a minute. Was uh, when I shared it on uh, Facebook, uh, tagged a few f friends that I grew up with that are veterans, a few people that I served with that are obviously veterans, and uh, most of those not even a peep. One person was on vacation with their family, so I found out, you know, early this morning. So, uh, them not wanting to be on social media to make their day worse when they're trying to have a good time. I get that. There's no issues there. But other people that were veterans that I didn't even get a peep out of them, not so much as a, oh my gosh, hell yeah, screw you, nothing from those people. That really pissed me off. But there's more to this than just that, so... But I just wanted to make that aware as well. Now, the mission statement of the Veterans Empowerment Center, which is very important here to help veterans, disabled veterans, displaced veterans, and veterans with PTSD. Obviously, we have a problem in this country when 22 of them a day on average are taking their lives, especially some of those here locally and some of those I've personally known. Uh, not locally, but when I was still serving. So to have that happen, it's an atrocity. Um, now what's really got me fired up like none other is uh, what I'm going to show you now. Like uh, Ronnie Murray is the CEO of the Veterans Empowerment Center. He started this. Um, uh, there's a link down in the description box below uh, done by the local news station a couple years ago. Uh, stating, you know, his mission statement. Feel free to check that out. And then on top of that, this picture here is his mugshot. And um, why does he have a mugshot? Well, he's a registered sex offender. Remember what I said about those links in the description box down below. And that mugshot uh, was one of a few times that he's violated his parole. So there's more to this than meets the eye. Now I was contacted, well, some of this came to light because it was a good thing that this video got out and about because somebody who knew this guy personally contacted me and said, here's a few things, give you a heads up of what's going on within the Veterans Empowerment Center as far as he is concerned. So, Registered sex offender, multiple parole violations, and, uh, you know, not only that, you know, he's supposed to be a good salesman at what he does. 
Now, part of that is vehicle donations that have been made to the Veterans Empowerment Center to, you know, take them to a shop, get them fixed up, or if they're already running, you can use those for the veterans to get around and use them for, you know, company, vehicle, whatever, what have you. Give them to vets, all that stuff. Good tax write-off, right? Well, apparently on Facebook Marketplace underneath the name Rocky Garcia, he is selling those vehicles for the parts. Now his funds. Now he gets disabled veterans to come work for him, like the guys that I met, you know, a little while back at the supermarket here just down the road from me. That uh, and trust me, they're they're actual vets. These guys were from Vietnam. Uh, they had the VA IDs, and those are kind of, you know, hard to screw up or, you know, not differentiate. If you've seen them before, you've ever been in a VA hospital, you understand what those are. But he only takes 25% of the donations that those guys get and allots it to them as part of the work program that they have through the VA to keep them gainfully employed, keep them active, and other things. They only get 25%, the other 75% goes into his pocket so granted there's going to be a little bit of an overhead for the building and all this other stuff but between all the donations funds state accrued funds uh for this nonprofit organization that is an atrocity in and of itself this guy is scum of the earth so what do we have we have somebody that's taking advantage of the va taking advantage of everybody else's good heartedness, good kindness, and, you know, the statement of, you know, PTSD and all this other crap, whether or not he was or was not in the Air Force, I have no fucking clue at this point. I'd have to see a DD-214 from him, personally, with uh, everything that I've come up just on public records, because sex offender registry, that is public records. Along with his mugshots, yeah, those are public records, too. But, you know, to abuse that system that is in place to try and help people out is horseshit. Now, if you want a video to share, this is the video to share. Because Ronnie Murray from Veterans Empowerment Center as the CEO is a freaking crook. And crooked is all hell and probably needs to be drawn and quartered in public square. That's my opinion. Now, as far as the source goes that emailed me, that person is going to remain anonymous. But everything that they had talked to me about, checked out. So, literally checked out, simple Google search, and I was able to come up with all this to verify things. Holy crap. This guy is a douchebag from all hell. Anyways, guys, you guys want a video to share? You wanted an update? I wish I had a great update for you. I don't. You know, reveal it for what it is. Fooled us all. Fooled me. Fooled you guys that helped. Fooled plenty of other people in the state of Iowa. And fooled the BA. Fooled the vets that volunteered and worked for him and did their time. That's just crap. Anyways, I'm going to get this posted. Within an hour after this is posted, my first video that I did asking for help, that's coming down. But uh, just to give you guys a heads up, it's going to go up on both my channels, also be shared on Facebook. We're going to get a better word out. Truth sucks sometimes, but really pisses me off. Well, you guys take care and uh, stay safe out there. Stay vigilant. Later.